What's up, everybody? This is OBB, the Diecast News Guy, bringing you guys with another NASCAR Diecast review. And this could be on a newly released Diecast that's also available in Wave 9 and NASCAR Authentics 2020, which, you know, still haven't found it. So getting the Gold Series variant of this car was the next best was the next best thing. You probably know what it is if you guys saw my haul video for Metro Racing Diecast, which, by the way, this is the Diecast I got it from. Um, so go ahead. So yeah, here's the car if you guys want to see them real quick. Really cool place to check out uh, for a local diecast dealer if you guys live in the central New York area or the western New York area. But your next best bet, if you guys don't have any diecast dealers near you, including that, then might as well go check out Circle B Diecast and make sure to use my promo code OBBYT to get your free shipping. Uh, to, get, to get free shipping because, hey, who doesn't love free shit, right? <laughs> uh, for $20 or more, link will be in the description. But anyways, guys, it's going to be on Michael Annette's 2020. Oreo Donington Throwback Chevrolet Camaro for Junior Motorsports. What a beautiful and iconic 2002 throwback for the man Dale Jr. Guys, really cool. I mean, once again, Junior Motorsports and Michael Annette knock it out of the park with another classic Xfinity scheme. They hit the nail on the head with the jackpot with the baby, with the baby, with the baby Ruth Jeff Gordon car from last year, and now doing it again with an iconic driver. Ironically, his owner Dale Jr., which I was so excited when they announced this, guys. I mean, I, I was a little nervous that this car was getting canceled, and my camera does not want to focus again. Jesus Christ, Samsung, I love you, but like I don't know why my camera does not want to focus on this beautiful car. Like, come on, dude, focus focus for christ's sakes <laughs> but that is just a beautiful die cast right there so as we're gonna go ahead and play around this camera um or i don't know smash into a million pieces who knows what's gonna happen uh let's go and kick off this die cast the official unboxing of the michael net 2020 oreo throwback car Alrighty, guys, we have this die cast out of its box, and my goodness, this is a beautiful paint scheme, guys. They really nailed it, guys. Absolutely nailed it. I mean, more importantly, for the second year in a row, they got the actual sponsor to go along with this paint scheme, which, I mean, that is how you do a throwback, guys. I'm sorry, like, if you're going to do a throwback, you got to get the sponsor. You got to get the actual sponsor. And luckily, with the guys at Pilot Flying J, as you guys know, it's a gas station. Um, an iconic gas station, especially if you're in your Pennsylvania, as I've seen those a lot. Probably the only time I ever see Pilot Flying J's, if I'm not mistaken. Or when I go on road trips a lot. I mean, I don't think there's any in New York, if I'm not mistaken. But, um, you know, it's a gas station, so they sell all sorts of goodies, including Oreos and Baby Ruth's. So, that's probably... The mate, that's probably the only reason I can see why they got the Oreo sponsorship, which is pretty cool. I mean, a one-off sponsorship is pretty damn nice. Um, but this is awesome, guys. I mean, I'm not a big fan of the Goodyear tire, of these Goodback, good, uh, good back? goodness gracious, Goodyear uh, throwback tires. I mean, I understand if that's how they were, but just, uh, I don't know. They did they, they, this... I feel like that the tires probably they could have done something a little bit with the throwback tires. Hopefully we'll get something better for this year as we are getting throwbacks for May, which that is going to be amazing. Look forward to see what throwbacks we're going to have if we're going to get any. I hope because you know it's a throwback race after all. But this is a cool diecast and Michael and I actually ran pretty well in this car, guys. I think he got a top ten finish out of this. I mean he had a top he started in the top ten and finished in the top ten. So you know it was a pretty good day to see this car run well because you know Michael Nett, you know he's usually a hit or miss when it comes to. Uh, um, you know, running great cars, but usually most of them get canceled, but luckily this one didn't. But unfortunately, we got ourselves a paint chip right here on the O, which, you know, I mean, yeah, that that's pretty unfortunate, especially me being a big Oreo fan. I mean, why you gotta do it on the O, guys? I mean, come on. I mean, if it was on the Oreo, that'd be one disgusting Oreo. I'll tell you what, a blue paint chip on an Oreo, I mean, goodness, that is not good. <laughs> but of course, you know, one cool thing about the Gold Series diecast, you do get the name banners, which, you know, the name banner does look really nice on here with the black and whites. I'm starting to get used to that a little bit. And on the back, we got, of course, the other name banner. And uh, that's the main reason. Uh, we got a paint chip right there where that F is, I believe. But yeah, apparently if you, uh, that's basically how they got the Oreo sponsorship right there. They had a BOGO offer in the Pile of Flying J app. <laughs> and yeah, there's the other side right here. Whoa, what's going on with this uh, window right here? This window is severely gapped. Holy crap, guys. Is it like this on the other side? Yeah, that is quite the gap right there. Oh my god. I, yeah, that gap is not supposed to be there, guys. Wow, that is a really, really bad window placement right there. I mean, a lot of people are going to be like, well, uh, you know, why'd you got this then? 
Well, unfortunately, this is the last one they had at Bench Racing, so, you know, it's been a hot seller, and uh, my good buddies are already calling me on Skype, so that's a good reminder to uh, mute uh, your freaking uh, computer speakers when uh, you, so you don't have any interruptions, so. <laughs> By the way, shout out to my good buddies, Derek, Rob, and Caleb for basically, um, you know, kind of joining in on this review now. So, <laughs> gotta love those rat bastards. But, um, hey, you know, they who diecast views their friends are always something, especially when they show up, like, out of the blue. I mean, <laughs> just look at the older diecast reviews I'd done and I crashed with with uh, Race Day 2011. I mean, goodness gracious. <laughs> but anyways, enough of me getting sidetracked, guys. I mean, God, I love friends. Um, this is a beautiful car, guys. I mean, a perfect accurate representation of the number three Oreo card that Dale Jr. drove in 2002 and actually won in at the season opener at Daytona, which I thought was pretty cool. I think he beated his, uh, he beated, uh, his uh, teammate in the Cup Series, uh, Michael Waltrip, which I thought was pretty cool. <laughs> but I unfortunately do not have the actual car with me, but I probably am going to pick that up very soon because I do want to uh, probably post a picture of the side-by-side -side comparison of this because this paint scheme is just beautiful. The Camaro mode on the Xfinity cars are starting to get to me a little bit. I mean, uh, it does they don't look too bad. They are pretty bulky, but hey, you know, I mean, it makes the, the, the Xfinity diecast a little unique because we rarely get this much Xfinity throwbacks. I mean, majority of them are canceled, so I'm glad we were able to get this one for sure. But time to start the side-by-side -side comparison, and yeah, we're going to be looking at the baby Ruth car that he drove last year. Well, two years ago. So we had Jeff Gordon throwback, Dale Jr. throwback, Heck, I can only imagine what's going to be next, guys. I mean, could you imagine, like, an Oreo Ritz throwback for Tony Stewart? Oh, God, that'd be nice. That'd be really nice. I mean, I highly doubt that, but, heck, you know, if they keep this trend going, guys, I mean, uh, I mean, an Oreo Ritz, you know, Tony Stewart won a lot of races with that sponsor, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> so, I don't know. That would be my guess of what the next throwback would be for Michael Nett if they continue this trend. But I don't know, feel free to post your comments, thoughts below, guys. Uh, which throwback is probably your favorite? Uh, the 2019 variant or the 2020? I mean, as much as I love the Gordon throwback, the 2020 throwback definitely is by far my favorite because I remember seeing this paint scheme, guys, and it is such an iconic 2000 schemes. Um, you know, it, it, it probably one of the best schemes we've had in, in the in the 2000s era. I will say that. So glad to see it was. Uh, it, it decided to you know it give another life in its course <laughs> to run again, which you know. Gotta love the throwback diecast. That's always something. But me being a big Oreo fan as well, guys, I absolutely love this car a lot. I mean, uh, if you had asked me my favorite cookie, it's definitely this, guys. I mean, who doesn't love America's favorite cookie? I mean, I don't know. I'll be damned if I have one. If, if uh, a person in the comments says, "Well, I don't really care for Oreos," well, you got to get the double stuffed Oreos because you know. It's all about that cream. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's probably going to go ahead and uh, end this video right here. So, hope you guys enjoyed this diecast review of the uh, Michael Annette 2020, 2020 Oreo Don's Throwback Chevrolet Camaro for uh, Junior Motorsports. If you guys enjoyed this diecast review, along with other NASCAR diecast reviews, feel free to hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon if you guys haven't already because I got more of these reviews to do. Um, Hopefully to get that once the stores video out soon. If Wave Nine's gonna take a sweet ass time coming to Walmart, <laughs> but they got four diecast dealers, right? But anyways, guys, Zobie B signing off for now, and I'll catch you guys next time on another Ansgar Diecast review.